Hello and welcome to another Murders at Karlov Manor Draft. I'm Paul Chion, and sadly, we were ranked 2, but now we're ranked 3. Uh, we went down a little bit through some streaming, had a bad run, won about half our matches, and we did D-rank once. So, what does that mean? I can't put number 2 on my thumbnail, sadly, but... Let's hop straight into this draft. Before I click this ready button, I do want to say, if you've enjoyed this content and wanted to support the channel in other ways, I did launch my Patreon channel. The link is in the description below. Shout out to all the current patrons. Thank you so much for your support. Now, ready to go? Something nice. I want a cool rare. It's been a while, I feel. And that, that is not cool enough. Stash of the Case of the Stash Skeleton. I've talked about this card before. I think the card is fine. It's definitely decent if you are black, but the thing is you don't ever really want to start your draft necessarily with a good black card, unless it's like really, really great, like uh, like the Wrath, the Sweeper, something a lot, or Vein Ripper. Those are the types of cards that might make me want to go into black, but not necessarily Case of the Stash Skeleton, which I think is about on par with a card like Dogwalker, for example, which I think I'm going to take out of this pack. Lots of decent options here. Rune Brand Juggler, if you want to be red, black, again, don't want to start red, black, don't want to start with a gold card either. Uh, and at common, you have Dogwalker and Makeshift Binding as the two standout cards, followed by, I guess, Locks on Eavesdropper as the third best common. I think uh, Dogwalker and Makeshift Binding are both excellent cards, but I'm going to take the Dogwalker because this gives you a little more flexibility. I think power level-wise, they're similar, but I like the fact that Dogwalker uh, is a card that you can play in both red and white decks. And this follow-up pick is kind of the reason why. Uh, Rare was taken out of this pack. The cards that I'm looking at are the two uncommons here in the Surveillance Monitor and the Gleaming Gear Drake. And I'm not going to lie to you, I am a sucker for Is it, and I'm a sucker for Gleaming Gear Drake. I think you can make the case to also take her Surveillance Monitor because it's a single colored card and leaves you a little more open. Uh, if you wanted to play both the Dog Walker and the Monitor, you can certainly go blue-white and take this card. But I think Gleaming Gear Drake might be enough better. And it's an archetype that I really like that I feel is often open that I do want to take the Gear Drake because the Dog Walker can still be a totally fine card in a blue-red deck. So let's go with the Gleaming Gear Drake here over Surveillance Monitor, pick number two. But I can see the case. I can see the case for somebody taking the um, Surveillance Monitor out of that pack. And now moving on, we have... Ooh, Drag the Canal is really interesting. How do we first pick Case of the Stash Skeleton into Surveillance Monitor? I could see wanting to take the Drag the Canal because that would be a nice progression of picks. But given that we would, took the Gleaming Gear Drake, I don't necessarily want to move away from that necessarily right now. And I am a very, very big fan of Out Cold. So I think I'm going to take that, noting that Black is likely open here, specifically Blue-Black, because there's a Drag the Canal and an Extract the Confession. But I think Out Cold is a fairly premium card in these Blue-Red decks as well. So I'm going to take that here over the Drag and the Extract. Moving on here, we have a fairly weak pack. There is an Inside Source and an Escape Tunnel as options out of this pack. Escape Tunnel is quite good, uh, but so is Inside Source. I don't want to necessarily be married to my pick of Gleaming Gear Drake already. Uh, so I'm going to take the Inside Source here because I think it's enough better than the Escape Tunnel where there is a really high upside to taking the Inside Source if somehow we do end up in a Boros deck. Now we have uh, Bite Down on Crime as the best card in this pack. I think the second best card in this pack is Gadget Technician, uh, which is quite nice. If we, if we end up blue-white or blue-red... This is a card that I'd still want in my deck. And I think it's a little bit better than the Offender at Large. So I'll take the Gadget Technician here. This gives us some flexibility to either end up in Red White, Blue White, Blue Red, any of the Jeskai color combinations here. And uh, we'll see kind of what the packs tell us. Moving on to this pack. Um, not a big fan of Public Thoroughfare. Not seeing a ton of white cards. I mean, I did see the fifth pick Inside Source, so maybe white is open. But... Yeah, I could either take On the Job or The Chase is On. I do have two Go Wide cards, but it feels like we're more likely to be Blue Red than Red White specifically, where that's where On the Job really shines. So I'm going to take The Chase is On, but I think it's close. Oh, now there's a Shock. That's a late Shock. That's pretty telling. Feels like it's more likely that, um, that Red is open, given that. So maybe we will still end up in Blue Red. We'll see. Could we end up in red-black? I mean, there's nothing else in this pack. I'm not taking anything for a blue-red deck. 
I guess I can take Fae Flight as a rough combat trick, but you know what? I don't really like Fae Flight, so I'm going to take a Deadly Complication here because I think if somehow we there's a world where we end up in red-black, maybe we can pivot here. We have enough cards to make it happen. And there's a Runebrand Juggler. Now, there's a case of the Stash Skeleton that didn't table, but there's nothing that's blue or red in this pack. V2 Gazi Inspector is a green card, but yeah, let's take the Juggler and maybe we make a really late pivot into Rakdos, given what we're seeing out of this pack, out of these packs. I mean, the only blue card that we saw that we liked was Out Cold. There was that Gleaming Gear Drake, and that was a late Deadly Complication, and the Runebrand Juggler tabled. And red seems reasonably open, and the red-black specifically is very open. So, this is one of those things where I'm kind of letting the draft tell me where I need to be. And uh, let's see what happens. Undercity Eliminator is also certainly a playable card. I think I like it over the lead pipe here. And that's another Alley Assailant. I don't love the Alley Assailant, but yeah, may maybe we end up in red-black. And then now if... I feel like... Uh, this Ezrim, though. I mean, the only white card I saw and took was Inside Source. So I think... I think this Ezrim is a bait. I just don't have enough... I have... If I were to switch into blue-white, I have four cards. I just, I just don't think I can take it. So sadly, no Ezrim for us. Um, if I wanted to be... So I don't think I should be white. So it's like, what blue-red cards are there? Well, there's nothing. I'm not interested in any of these blue cards. So I guess I just take Extract and kind of see how the packs go. Um, and yeah, this is a really odd start. But hey, at least at least we're getting, getting the Massacre Girl. Like I said, I don't like starting black. But if it's just so open where nobody wants to be black and you get all the cards and you get the rares and the uncommons, you can get there, right? We got a late pick deadly complication, the rune brand juggler table, and now we're getting past a massacre girl. So perhaps this is where we need to be. I'm going to take that over the shock here. Maybe table the clandestine meddler, given how open black's been. But yeah, let's um, let's shift gears here. All right, I saw all these blue cards, and I was going to be sad, but there is a reckless detective, and I'm super happy to pick that up. Uh, red herring likely won't table because this is also a commonly played card in red, blue, and red, white aggro. But maybe we can table the toxin analysis out of this pack. But really happy with the reckless detective there regardless. And moving on to this pack. I'm a big fan of the slimy dual leech. So I think I'll take that for a four mana card. I do like it more than Harry Dronesmith. There's not too much you can do with this. I suppose this uh, combos with reckless detective. But I like Dual Leech more because Red Black tends to be a little more aggressively slanted. And the Dual Leech just makes blocking really, really difficult. So let's take the Dual Leech here. And, ooh, now this is interesting. A lot of good options. Fester Leech probably tables, to be fair. Uh, Extract the Confession is an okay removal spell, but I also really like Case of the Burning Masks. And I like the card advantage that you can generate off Case of the Burning Masks. And I think we're going to have enough creatures and do enough damage where the case can provide a little more value than the Extract. It's a little harder, harder to cast, but I like the upside. So let's take the case here. Hopefully I don't have to play the Shady Informant. But I might have to. 5, 6, 7, 8. We have 9 creatures right now. I'm going to take Repeat Offender over Shady Informant number 2. Just to have another 2 drop. Now we're ha we have 3. Hopefully we can end up with a few more. It's an okay mana sink in the late game. We have some double black and double red though. So I'm also interested in like an escape tunnel just to make my mana work. Here's a scene of the crime, but I don't... I'm very unlikely to play the scene of the crime. I mean, this... Sh mm, I mean, we'll put, we'll put the Shady Informant here on the side. We'll see what happens. That's another Rune Brand Juggler. There's a Gorehound too, which is pretty nice, but... I don't think it's better than the Rune Brand Juggler and an Eliminator. So, certainly Rakdos is open. Certainly Rakdos is open. But here's the thing. Even if Rakdos is open, is it good? I don't know. We'll find out. Detonation table. I think we were hoping for something out of this pack to table, but my short-term memory is so bad, I just completely forgot what was available. Maybe that was the an argument to not take case of the Burning Masks, by the way, just because uh, we already have some double black cards. 
And this just is very difficult to cast. We have lots of double red, double black nonsense going on. Um, but, you know, I, I did have a shock and an extract for cheap interaction already. We did mention we wanted to table the clandestine meddler. We have several ways to get suspect. So really happy about that. Um, I think the next pack had a fester leech. I would love fester leech to table. I think Ali Assailant is like the creature I could potentially cut out of um, all of these cards. I mean, it's fine. Toxin Analysis tabled, I'm okay with that. It's very, very good with suspect creatures because people have to kind of double block and then you can two for one them. I'll take another repeat offender. And this is looking all right. But uh, still need some help. Let's see. This pack has... Well, a lot of mediocre cards. I don't make enough artifacts for Corner Crook to do anything. I think I want something cheaper. We're not super duper aggressive. I think I'm just going to take Unscrupulous Agent or Revengeful Tracker. This actually has a much higher win rate than Vengeful Tracker. It's like the difference is like um, like six percent. This has a six percent higher win rate. So I'll take the Unscrupulous Agent there, and then now we have um. Deadly Complication seems awesome in red-black. Just gives us another good removal spell. Uh, fairly easy to cast. And with double Repeat Offender and Rune Brand Juggler um, and Clandestine Meddler, we're pretty good at being able to have this straight-up be three mana, kill a creature, put a plus one, plus one counter on target creature. So very, very happy about that. This pack is a bit of a miss. Nothing really for us. Not really interested in Gravestone Strider. I guess I'll take a Fairy Snoop, but unlikely to play it. Oh, Hunted Bone Brute. All right. That is something that I am super interested in my deck. Let's take, let's slam that. Maybe the Servitor probably doesn't table, but this thing is an absolute beater. Very, very happy to have this. Really great with chases on, by the way. Or even Toxin Analysis. Although most of the times when this gets double blocked, they, they're going to lose two things anyways. So this deck's looking decent here. Um, three, four, five, six, seven. Could use another removal spell. I'll take another extract here. Another cheap thing to play. And now we have... I think at this point... So this is actually really interesting. And this is a perfect example of looking at your deck and taking the pick that goes well with what your deck currently needs. We have two extracts and a shock. We have a ton of removal. I'm more interested in person of interest here. It's just a fantastic creature. And we need more creatures. And this is the best red creature in the format. So really happy picking up the person of interest. Red and black, certainly very open there. And uh, very, very happy with person of interest. Probably going to cut like an alley assailant or a gadget technician from what we have so far. Don't really care about any of these cards. Uh, I'm never playing cease and desist. I mean... I don't think I'm going to play public thor thoroughfare even though I really need both double red and double black. Undercity Eliminator also is a card that you could consider cutting. Uh, there's a Lightning Helix in this pack, but I'm just not going to play it. I'm not playing Gravestone Strider either. I guess I'll just take some gems. Hey, Persuasive Interrogators is not bad. It just It's a two for one. So maybe I just play that. Maybe I play another one. I don't know that I'm going to want two Toxin Analysis in this deck. But I don't know. I think Persuasive Inter Interrogators actually is pretty decent um, in a deck that's just looking to play a bunch of removal spells. And it's just a nice late game threat to just slam down. All right. So we have some interesting uh, cuts to make here. Can probably shave like one of these. Another reason why I didn't take Toxin Analysis is I think I like all my other spells mostly better. And I don't really li generally like playing more than eight spells in my deck. I like having a lot, uh, pretty high creature count. So uh, I thought it was pretty unlikely to play the Toxin Analysis. Although it looks like we're unlikely to play a second copy of in the Interrogators anyways. I like all my twos. I just like having a, a good number of twos here. So I'll play that. I like my fours. I like the, I like having the one copy of Interrogator. So I think we can just cut the, probably the Alley Assailants. I think I like the Gadget Technician a little bit more uh, just because we have the Undercity Eliminator. So this just creates a 1-1 that I can throw away 
for the Eliminator. I think it's close between the two. But let's go with the, um, the Technician here just to be able to make extra tokens here. And it does work pretty well with the Slimy Dual Leech that we have. So let's try this. Alrighty, opponent on the play. Uh, well, I mean, this hand has a mana curve. <laughs> so let's keep that. Ooh, there's our six drop. Uh, only playing one though. Only playing one. Let's play Repeat Offender here into Clandestine Meddler, which makes us be able to pump this even better, even faster. We get a nice Surveil going too. Mostly in it for the Surveil. Love Extract the Confession here, so we'll keep that. They could have Bite Down on Crime, which would be pretty annoying. They just kept mana up. Is this like an Out Cold? I don't know. I guess it's an Out Cold. I mean, that's fine. That's a really early out cold, uh, by the way. I'm not going to extract. I'm just going to play another creature here. Next turn, it, it just uses our mana better if I can flip over the dog walker. What do they have? I mean, I guess I'll just take it. I have toxin analysis. Is this undercover crocodile? Oh, it's the bloomkin. Sure. Okay. Yeah, no, this is this is completely fine. Uh, we can use Extract and then also flip this over. So that's a really great turn for us. Bloomkin down. And I don't, they don't have any haste creatures probably, but no reason not to. I'm going to flip this up this turn anyways. And next turn we get to get in for a pretty big attack. And we have Toxin Analysis up with all of our tokens. I wonder if I should have played the second one. I don't know. But they have a lot of mana here, but we have a lot of pressure, and them starting things out, cracking a clue, is always a great sign. Because that means they didn't have enough to do that turn. And that's an eavesdropper. Let's go ahead and kill it. If they have a get a leg up, we, have, we just drew shock to finish it off, but oh man, this is just a beating. Alright, surveil. I don't... I think I'd rather draw a land for the Persuasive Interrogators, honestly. All right. Case of the Burning Masks also take... Also, they have so many cards in hand. Getting a card just doesn't matter at this point. I'm more interested in cards that kill things and let me push through to the last few points of damage. But I just imagine it's going to be pretty hard for them to get through all of this. But v Gazi Inspector is a great, great start as it gains them life. Looks like a bite down on crime as well. Are they just collecting all the evidence? No, they can't collect evidence for a bite down on crime here. They have to just cast it. That's fine. And it doesn't fight, so I can't use toxin analysis to kill the Vitugazi inspector. All right, well, we can try to find a removal spell here off the case. That would be nice. We have lots of removal, and that's a deadly complication. So let's go use that. Play the land and kill this. Uh, choose options. Let's choose both. They can't really counter this. Have become no longer decline. I'd like to keep it as a suspect. And beat down! Every time I get a win with Rakdos, I am thrilled, right? I feel like every Rakdos deck I draft, if I just like win half my matches, we just move on, we save our gems, and we keep it going. But maybe we can do one better. Maybe we can do it one better. We'll see. All right, round number two. We are on the play. Don't have any twos. Got a bunch of face down cards that I can't flip over. <laughs> but I do have Massacre Girl, so I got to keep it, right? Could have played, like I said, put could have played Alley Assailant over, over some of these cards, but I don't think it makes a big difference. This targets other creatures, right? Yeah. Okay. Inside source. Woof. All right. Well, uh, let's uh, 
slam this massacre girl here and hope for the best. Hope they don't have a removal spell. I mean, even if they have a combat trick, it's okay. Like, we still draw a card. Right? If they have a plus two, plus two. So let's just make them use it. I mean, I need to draw red sources anyways. So. And this is going to take their whole turn, most likely. Yeah, this is kind of brutal, though. Um, <laughs> drawing all my swamps. All right, well, let's surveil here. If it's not a red source, I'm okay. Well, it's a red source, so we're keeping it. I'll save this extract. They have an inside source, so it doesn't do too much. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I, am I supposed to just take four and just have them keep playing things? I don't know. I mean, if I had a better hand with some combat tricks or instant speed interaction that I could cast, then I might have just taken the four. But given the fact that I really wanted to find a red source, I think it was okay to keep there. We'll keep the Bone Brute. Interesting. I can use Chases on. Which doesn't seem bad. Yeah, like they can't bounce this. This kills both of their things. And then we can just play a face down card. I'm still saving the extract. They could have a counter here, I suppose. But they were going to counter either of these cards anyways. Did they suspect this? They did. Okay. We race in. So we have access to six mana. Uh, meaning next turn we can go extract plus... Oh yeah, we're... We're definitely extracting here. Probably playing person of interest. I don't know. Let's collect evidence. Four, five, six. Let's kill that. Let's attack first and get a little more information, I guess. That's not bad. Yeah, this is interesting. This hits really hard, and this... I can still play this next turn after flipping up the Bone Brute. So I think I actually prefer the Bone Brute here, just because they're at 11. And, I mean, we can get them really, really low. Like, flipping up Bone Brute next turn into Person of Interest seems quite strong. Okay, they're still getting aggro. Stop playing big things. Okay. Uh... Curious how I want to attack here. All right, this puts them down to three. Okay, so they can't. So like, 
that's a great number because I have the bone brute, right? Like, how, what can they do? They're they're more limited in what they can do here. So we'll see how this goes. It's very close. Very, very close. Might crack the clue next turn just to see what I can find. But Bone Brute is, is going to be tough. Now, if they attack with both their creatures, do I take it? They can hit me for 5, 10th District Hero for 7. This can become a 5-5 five, five even for 5 mana. So that's, that's uh, 8 damage. If they pump this into a 4-4 and then have on the job, that's 11 damage. A lot, of, a lot of different things in play here. We'll see what they do. If they attack with both, I probably should block. I think the fact that they can have on the job... It's pretty scary. Auspicious Arrival doesn't get it done. One creature I'm not afraid about. I, I'm not afraid of. Oh, and oh, never mind. This thing can't even block. I keep forgetting. You know they need to. It's oh, there's this little thing in a corner. I just I just always miss it for some reason. All right, let's um. I think this is kind of do or die here. So I'm going to crack this clue to see if I can find something else. Like Toxin Analysis or anything along those lines. Ooh, Roombrand Juggler is interesting. But I, I think it's Shock is probably going to be better here. So let's just attack. If they... They can block, block, and bounce this. And then they shock. They get shocked to death. So this is looking okay. There's no real way to gain life, I don't think. So, yeah. Oh... Oh, three of these things have menace, obviously. Yeah, but they they suspected their face down card. All right, stumbled and fumbled our way into a two zero against a pretty decent blue white deck. Let's keep it going. Okay, uh, Rune Brand Juggler into clandestine. Me yeah, yeah. I mean, two drop into three drop with some tricks. I like it. No, no, being on the draw, obviously not ideal. It's kind of funny. I think if Clandestine Meddler is my only three, I might play the Room Brand Juggler and not suspect it, and then suspect it on the following turn just so I can block and prevent one damage. It's a consideration. Okay, took one. All right, uh, let's see. Actually, I kind of want them to attack me. Let's just do this. The, the thing is, there's like a decent chance I just play something over Clandestine Metal or two, and I'd rather just suspect everything because I'm kind of the the aggressor in a lot of instances. But if they play a face down creature and I don't draw a three mana card, then I'll probably just play the meddler. Yeah. Just because I want, I value the surveil. It, it's super suspected. Huh. Yeah, I'll keep that. So the way that this works is you don't get to surveil a million times, but um, Room Brand Juggler is nice because I can go extract a confession too, or I can go. Oh, yes, we racing, we racing. This is actually kind of interesting because I have the chases on. So the question is, do I want to use the chases on here on the clandestine meddler? 
use the room brand juggler. If I use room brand juggler, it basically means that I... Actually, that's a good thing. If I use room brand juggler on clandestine meddler and they double block with face down card plus rubble about maverick, then we can use extract on the, uh, on the barb servitor. So let's go ahead and do that. Undercity Eliminator. Hmm. Yeah, that's good. Interesting. Okay. Nothing from the opponent. And let's hold this extract the confession for now. And if they want to attack me with this, I mean they're 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 taking a point of damage here. We have two suspected creatures getting in. Culvert Ambusher on my Runebrand Juggler, okay. Sure. Toxin Analysis coming in clutch. Getting them good off of that one. They're going to take a point of damage here. Then probably just going to run out the Undercity Eliminator. Let's attack. It's been that. I don't even know if I want to exile this thing. <laughs> Is that crazy? Yeah. Go draw your card. Go to six. You're just helping me. I'd rather kill the Rubble Belt Maverick because it blocks, right? Like, if they play a creature... Uh, one other cool thing is I can actually main phase chases on and then use Extract the Confession to collect Evidence 6 to kill a big creature if they try to stabilize with a big creature. Now, this is only really bad if they play, like, a bunch of removal spells this turn, allowing them to maybe draw some cards off the Servitor. But given that they're at 7 and if they attack us, they go to 6... And they use two removal spells, then like, yeah, I mean, then they're just going to be in trouble regardless, right? What can they do here? I mean, with all that mana up, I don't know if there's a card that removes Suspect, but this seems like a decent opportunity to... Maybe now we just run this out. They just There's no other creatures in play. And our, with our mana, we just can't do everything that we want anyways. Slice from the shadows. Okay. All right. So they're dead. All right. Nice curvy start from us. And uh, let's keep it going. Let's keep it going. We are... Still rank three. Whoever's rank two, they built up quite a lead yesterday. We had a pretty bad run when we streamed. And so then I was just like, you know what? I'm going to take the rest of the day off. All right. But we're 3-0 with Rakdos. Going strong. All right. We are on the play and we have a fine curve here. Hey, the reason why we played the Technician, right? We got the Undercity Eliminator here. Make a token. That's nice. So we'll go turn two, Offender, turn three, Technician with some removal. Definitely having some smooth draws here. And our opponent mold a five. So that's going to be tough for them. Oh, even better, Dog Walker. It is pretty insane, by the way, the difference in power level between these two cards. Like, the win rate on Dog Walker is so much higher. I mean, that extra token obviously just goes a long way, but but wow. Uh, in, in Rakdos in, uh, specifically. All right, public thoroughfare, so they're going a little deep. Lazav, okay. Well, I'm sure glad that I have this extract. And let's flip this up and, yeah, beat down. I could have just attacked with the face down card to see if they... Oh, no. <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. 
Extract a confession against the flip dog walker does not feel great. Yep, yep, this is probably just game here. Probably should have played that second main, but I don't think it matters. I'll take two. All right. We've all been there. Condolences, opponent. And we are back! We're back, baby! 4-0, rank two. Silver medal right here. You know what I need to do? I need to get like a gold, a silver, and a bronze medal, and then just start, just like put it on when I get to like those ranks. Like, wouldn't it just look so nice right now? Just a silver medal here. Contrast with this dark gray or charcoal. I don't know. What would you, what would you, what would you consider this? Anyways, <laughs> rank two. Let's keep it going. I am on the play. And uh, this I'm going to mulligan. If I had a mountain, this hand would be fantastic. But I really want to curve out with this deck. This is also an awkward hand, but I don't think I can go to five. So certainly this is where uh, it's possible that we can lose. Uh, I'm going to keep this. And what do I bottom? Probably the case of the... Mm. This is a three mana creature I can play. Yeah, I'll do Case of the Burning Mass just because it's, like, kind of hard to cast. And I like my 4-drops more. This is kind of like an unmulligan. Although Case is also kind of like an unmulligan. But definitely keeping Extract and Meddler. So it was between Case versus, I guess, Person of Interest. But that's the easiest one to cast, right? That's the one if I just draw a bunch of mountains, I can play this, so... All right, let's draw a land here. I mean, look, in any given run, you're going to lose at least one game to the Shuffler. My last round opponent lost to the Shuffler. And uh, it's definitely possible that it happens to us. And it looks like it's our turn. We're going to get sliced for one here. No, they had something. Toxin analysis, maybe? I don't know. Give me a land. Give me a land. Thank you for being reasonable. Thank you. All right. Let's surveil here and try to find another land. If it's not a land, I don't want it. I don't want it. It also helps us build up Extract the Confession. Oh, man. Why is everybody playing this card? Stop playing this. Stop putting this card in your deck. Question is, do I attack with both? Probably. Ooh, I guess I'll keep it. They're probably going to block the meddler with the face down card. If they don't, they take so much damage. I think you have to. I guess it's it could be like a culvert ambusher or something. I don't know. Yeah. No, I think that's a good block. It's probably a pretty good face down card. Yeah, nervous gardener. All right, let's play Person of Interest and ra try to race this Barb Servitor. Extract a Confession we can use to kill something big if they choose to play that after they attack us here. They're going to go to 15, so they're at a de reasonably healthy life total, but we have some pretty good tools to pressure them, which is nice. Next turn, we can even go Extract plus Face Down Gadget Technician. It all depends on what they play. Unscrupulous agent. Interesting. Yep. Then I guess we exile the... I think I'd rather have the removal spell, to be honest. They know my creature has Wither, right? Okay. Oh, interesting. Oh, they got the Extract. No, that's cool. Yeah, no, that is very cool. Uh, the Extract wasn't even that great here. I mean, obviously, it depends on what they play to follow up here. But we might actually lose here. I mean, the Sparb Servitor is getting them a bunch of cards. They're getting a bunch of value. We mulliganed. I think we missed the land drop as well.
Oh, okay. Yep. And they get to kill Massacre Girl here. Okay. They, I would have sacked. I might have sacked the Barb Servitor. We'll see. Okay, well. We can we can still get in for a good amount of damage here. This is all we have. Take six. Go to four. Oh, we're getting extracted, maybe? Or bite down? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, no, this one's this one's good beats. They had the right number of tricks and removal to get us here, so I think this is just going to be out of reach. They do have to be somewhat careful with Barb Servitor. Like, if they go pretty low, then they can end up... Yeah, if anything, it might just be a dead card at this point. They can't attack with the Eliminator. I, I think they can't attack with either. Well, no, they can attack with the Servitor. But my creature has Menace. I, I just, I need to rip something sweet. That does not constitute sweet, sadly. I mean, there are four life. That's the only thing that we have going for us. Like a hunted bone brute, maybe. But we somehow kept a two lander and ended up with eight lands. Not ideal. Not ideal. Another Barb Servitor? Okay. Wait. What if I have... Huh? What do they have? What well, this attack was kind of wild. Hold on. Um four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oof. So this the barb servitors no longer do anything. They have one card in hand. All right, I'm going to actually target the Runebrand Juggler here and see if they attack. Because if they attack, they have to attack with everything. Oh, okay. So now I have to kill Flourishing Bloomkin. Because that's the card that can kill me. Alright, we can draw Shock. Shock isn't out. Shock isn't out. How insane would Shock be? Is there anything else? I think Shock is the only card. Alright, we have a 1 outer. 1 in 24. 1 in 24. Huh? Ah. Close. That was a good, good draw. Oh well. Back to rank three, sadly. Man. Man. All right, but two's close. Two's close. Yeah, they just got us. I mean, we mulliganed and they got us with a double unscrupulous agent trigger and they killed a massacre girl, just like everything went pretty poorly there for us. Okay. We are on the play. No two drop, sadly. No, uh, no two drop, so got to do what I got to do. Oh, geez. Okay. So my shock doesn't get used, which is sad times. And we're playing a naked clandestine meddler, but that's the world we live in. Okay. Into another tap land or no tap land? Oh, that tap land. I would love to find a play here where I can shock plus play something. That's not it. Um, 
I guess it's just dual each. All right. It's kind of an awkward draw, but our hand is a bunch of removal. They had a little bit of a slow start, which helps, but this is one of those like, it could have been a little bit better just with how everything got sequenced. I, it's really interesting that they are just passing here. I think I'm interested in just playing a creature. But I might I think just attacking with the dual leech is pretty good. Actually trading the clandestine meddler here isn't bad. But with three mana up, like they can be representing all kinds of stuff. Yeah. This is interesting. This is actually, this is very interesting. I can also just try to kill the Whipcracker here. And then if they have something, I can just shock. I have a bunch of hard removal anyways. Like they're representing something here, right? Yeah. Like I think they have Repulsive Mutation for one. Okay. Never mind. All right. Let's... uh do that. I don't think they have a good block here. Eliminate the impossible, sure. Let's kill that. All right, we dismantled their board, so I'm feeling really good about that. And, and them... Cracking the clue also feels great. If they play a face down card, I'd love to draw a land. They didn't. Um, no reason not to just attack here. Uh, let's play. Let's play Masker Girl. Let's hope they don't play a sweeper. Is Zoni okay? Zoni is very good. At least we have the removal spell for it. Uh, we can't extract it, but we'll just use Deadly Complication. And attack. We'll draw a card off of this. We'll draw two cards off of this. We'll draw a card off of this. Masker Girl doing some work here. We'll draw two cards off of this. All right. They got some power though. Holy cow. All right. Uh, was there a better way to tap for that? I mean, I, I couldn't foresee this happening necessarily, but I guess I could have kept the red and a black up when I cast the Deadly Complication. That would have allowed me to play the juggler, which would have been way better. That would have been way, way better. All right, face up gadget technician. In two. Face down card. All right. Time to use time to use El Breno. Does giving something menace win me the game? I don't think so. So let's just keep pressuring what they have. Hmm. The thing is, I kind of want to play this Bone Brute. Three, six. Now the question is, do I want him to use like Rune Brand Juggler on the Dual Leech? No, I'm just going to play the Bone Brute. They don't have a good block here. They could just chump Massacre Girl with the Thopter and let me draw a card.
Yeah, the other line was to um, case of the burning masks, the gadget technician, and then use extract. And I guess that would have left them with an empty board. So I don't know what's actually better here. I don't actually know what's better here. And then we would get to flip the case and we're less vulnerable to a sweeper. So maybe the kill everything plan was better. Maybe the kill everything plan was better. But getting them super low and just being... Oh, okay. Well, fortunately, I'm glad I played the Bone Brute. Because they're going to die. I don't know what's going on with these cards. But these don't have lifelink or anything, right? Whew! Man, they had a nice deck. Is Zoni plus Doppelgang? Whew! Glad we were able to put on some pressure. That's the thing. There is a cost, right? They played a deck with a lot of different colors. They played a deck with a lot of different colors. Uh, I still rank three. They played a deck with a lot of different colors and a lot of tap lands. And while their deck had a lot of power and the mana worked, it was still a little bit clunky. And if you run into an aggressive deck, they can still punish you for those types of starts. Now, we obviously had a lot of great answers and their deck looks great. So I imagine that they're going to do well with their configuration. Okay, five and one with Rakdos, and uh, yeah, this is a keeper. Swamp, two mountains, two drop, deadly complication, and a technician. We'll keep that all day, every day. So let's see, repeat offender, ooh, that's a fourth land, although third red source. Would rather have that be black. What is what do they have for two in blue green? Oh, V2 Gazi Inspector. I see. Hmm. I think they're just gonna block here. I don't really want to suspect this. That just seems like a really bad use of my mana. So let's go ahead and just play a face down gadget technician and just wait. Next turn, I can certainly attack with the face down card because if they single block with the inspector, I can flip it up. And if they double block, I can use chases on. So I think I'm going to be able to get in for a free three damage next turn. Oh, wow. Okay, they're looking at their inspector. So maybe they have a, a, a fight spell on the offender. They could also have a pump spell. No, it's, it's, just, a, all right, it's just a jaded analyst. Hmm. How do I want to go about this? Do I just use chases on to get rid of the jaded analyst, or am I happy with that trade and then I just get a thopter in play? Yeah, I'm not sure. I think they kind of have to block. Oh my gosh, they went with the double block. Oh my gosh, somebody help me. <laughs> I did not expect that, but perhaps they felt the pressure. And I'm not complaining about it. So, yeah, this is wonderful. Evidence examiner, sure. So they get a clue, but... We're presenting some pretty good pressure here. I guess they could have a combat trick here. But I really just want to play like Dog Walker plus Flip Over. 
The question is, which which do I flip over? I think I'd rather have a Thopter than two one ones. Although I guess this leaves me vulnerable to reasonable doubt now. Yeah, I don't know. But then they can't crack their clue and they need land drop, so this is still okay. The thing is, if I made two one ones, yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm not entirely sure what was better there. Face down card from the opponent. Do I bother using a removal spell on Evidence Examiner just for maximum pressure? Seems decent. Please don't have Eliminate. Please don't have Eliminate. They always have Eliminate. It's just like, what's the one card that I would absolutely hate for them to have? Oh, you have it? Okay, that's not cool. All right, well, they missed the land drop, but now they're looking golden. What do you have here? Hard-hitting questions too? Jeez. Um, I kind of want to just Scrupulous Agent here, to be honest. I guess I, if I wanted to do that, I should have cracked my clue first. It's got to be a spell. A what? Oh, I guess they cracked some clues. Yeah. All right, they have a bunch of mana available. What could it be? Huh. I want to be careful here. I do want to kill this face-up card. So let's go for it. It's a repulsive mutation. That's disgusting. Oh, it's a Bloomkin. Okay. No, that's fine. It still dies. And them getting lands here is not that big of a deal. Decline. And let's attack with everything but the offender. Because next turn, we can suspect the offender and just get in for a bunch. Like, this is basically unblockable. Undercity Eliminator is interesting. But we have lethal here regardless. I mean, maybe it's better to just, like, crack an unscrupulous agent to kill this. Because if I give the suspect, like, yeah, let's just do that. I mean, this is still technically lethal. Unless they have mutation. All right. This should get us to number two. All right. Back on... Back on the silver medal. Back on the silver medal. We are now six and one with our Rakdos. Can we, are we gonna get a trophy with Rakdos? That would be something else.
Okay, playing for the trophy. Great hand here. Turn to Reckless Detective, Deadly Complication, three lands on the draw. But our opponent played a turn one frantic scapegoat. Again, my theory. I got paired against a silver player right now. They're going to have the nuts Boros deck. That's, that's my prediction. They're going to have the absolute nuts Boros deck. Um, I'm going to play repeat offender just because I'm planning on blocking and I don't plan on attacking. I guess this could get shocked into two drop, but we're just going to block, keep our life total high. All right, uh, so the face down card is now a suspect. Let's play Reckless Detective. Yeah, I mean, I'm feeling a lot of pressure here, so I'm still going to block with Reckless Detective here. And if they have a trick, they have a trick. That's kind of where I'm at. I'm hoping it's Shock and not Felonious Rage. And I, I'm okay with that. Nope, it's nothing. Okay. Well, our deck is not very good at blocking. I'm just going to throw that out there. Um, this puts a creature in play. There's nothing I can really kill because these are face down cards. I can start casting Deadly, Deadly Complication next turn. So let's play a person of interest and uh, continue hold keeping back with the uh, detective. I mean, my hand is pretty good too, so I don't really feel the need to loot anyways. We could go with Case of the Burning Masks next turn to kill something, uh, just because uh, we might be able to flip it. Oh my gosh, Pyrotechnic Performer. Oh my gosh, this is not reasonable. This is not reasonable. Two three power creatures on this board is kind of ridiculous. I told you, Nuts Boros deck. With, with, with the perfect draw, too. Can't, can't just, you know, like... I just took six damage from this stupid thing. Oh, my mana is not great. Oh, 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 I just realized. I just realized. It took me some time, okay? It took me some time, but I just realized that I can do this. No longer a suspect. <laughs> I, I'm not suspecting anything. Let's, um, how, how do I want, like, I feel like I need to attack. With one of them. Keeping a 3-3 three, three backs helps against various other pump spells. Hmm. Oh, you know, I, maybe I should have suspected, you know, maybe I should have suspected so that I can get a plus one, plus one counter. That might have been a misstep. Uh, let's case this face down card. Offender at large. That's a pretty good one. Um, Nope, no good attacks. Yeah, you know, maybe I should, yeah. Maybe I should have suspect, kept one a suspect. I, I forgot about the plus one, plus one counter. Uh, their deck is fantastic. I just feel like I can never attack. You know what I mean?
Let's see, how do I want to do this? Is it worth try- can I like try to flip over my case of the burning masks? I could attack with two things, like Rune Brand Juggler plus this, and then kill Person of Interest, and then I have two blockers. I don't know, I just feel like I gotta make some pretty daring plays here to try to get ahead here. Oh, no! Oh, man, Paul, I'm so bad! Oh! I needed to attack with one more creature! Oh, uh, well, maybe we don't get punished here. Oh, yeah, yeah. I, I don't think they have a good attack, so maybe- yeah, it was still fine. Holy cow. Okay. All right, now now no attacks. Oh my gosh, that was so bad. My bad. I mean, I don't think I should have attacked with three creatures anyways. Ultimately, it ended up actually being a good thing. And hopefully we've now stabilized. Um, they're at a much higher life total though, so we have to be super careful with how we choose to attack. Come on! They got my clue! That's so rude! Oh, that's very good. Um, let's see. We can block with like four things. We have a couple of three threes. Let's attack. All right. We're start, going to start chewing through some creatures here. We still have decent blocks. Dude, are you kidding me? So if they have a combat trick, we're dead. It's a second pyrotechnic performer. I mean... Oh, it's on the job. Okay. Well, it is what it is. Let's block. 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 And block. Auspicious arrival. All right, so I can draw, um, I can draw shock or, or, or toxin analysis. Oh my gosh. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> what color do I leave up? Uh, let's target... What's what's blocking Gearbane Orangutan? The clandestine meddler? Okay. Alright, this is a big decision. Do what, Can I attack back for lethal? 3, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 16. Alright, let's just find the shock. Because... Wait, do we use shock? Let's find the shock here. So that they don't draw a card and draw a card into shock. All right. They got us. Yeah, that was a a wild series of things that occurred for us to lose. Man, that's that's unfortunate. We we're gonna lose a ton of Elo losing to that player. I think I could have played that game definitely better. I, I mean, that, that, at the end there, I'm okay with what I did. 
Like they needed to find a ton more damage. And basically I, I didn't like outside of on the job, I think we were okay, but I feel like I needed to put some pressure on, but then finding a way to deal three damage from the performer, number two, which is a rare, and then have another combat trick on top of that. I mean, you simply just can't play around that. And, uh, we, and, the, and we lost. Oh, well. That is highly unfortunate. But good hand here. Two swamps and a mountain. Um, and Masker Girl. So I would love to find land number four here to play Masker Girl. Our opponent, you know, I just feel like I never beat a turn two Tunnel Tipster, though. Tunnel Tipster is broken. On the play. Like, I'm, I'm really curious what the win rate of turn two Tunnel Tipster on the play is. I bet it's like... I don't know. I bet it's like 65%. It just feels that way, doesn't it? I'm going to do this so I can try to find a red source to kill the tunnel tipster. Did not find a red source. Did not find any land, actually. Um... I don't really care about the Runebrand Juggler here. So I think I'm just going to play this Technician just because it's the best use of my mana. Uh, not like this. Oh, God. I'm, ser I'm serious. Tunnel Tipster is ridiculous. Oh, oh, it died. I am super happy with that trade. And they had a Karlov Watchdog to follow it up. Oof. Let's discard repeat offender again. Land! Come on! Come on! Well, the deadly complication is the best use of mana. But, but if I play the Rune Brand Juggler, I can put a counter. I can give this suspect. And then this still blocks the Karlov Watchdog. And then I can save this for something bigger. So I believe I'm going to do that. I don't think... Re Reckless Detective doesn't want to be blocking anyways. So let's turn that into a suspect and keep the juggler here and see what they do. Looks like it's a bite spell maybe. Killer Among Us. Oof. Gosh. Okay. All right. Well, now, well we definitely have to kill the Watchdog now. I highly doubt they're going to attack. So, I can use the Deadly Complication now to try to deal maximum damage. Um, you know, kill the Watchdog. Maybe remove Suspect from this and then attack for three. I don't know. Or I can keep up chases on. No, I, I want to give myself more options here. I guess we'll, we'll just do this. Discard a card. Uh, can I get a land, please? No, that's just we're just not interested in lands. All right, we'll remove Suspect now that it has a counter on it. Because now, <clears throat> I don't care about the Rune Brand Juggler here, but I care about the fact that this is a 1-4 that can potentially block these 1-1s. One All right, one out of three. <laughs> one out of three. Oh, oh my. Oh me, oh my. So how do we do this? Extract is kind of awkward because I can't double... Um... Because I can't... Like, it's the only spell I can cast this turn, which isn't ideal. 
Massacre Girl is not great. If I play the Massacre Girl, I basically just be trading... Um, I'd be putting Runebrand Juggle in front of here. I could just pass and just like hope Chase is on is good enough to eat this. Ah, no, I'll just play Massacre Girl. I mean, certainly not a great place to be here. Uh, I think I just have to block here. I mean, it still draws me a card. Which is not bad. I really want to find more lands. Okay, this is great. Um... Yep. Uh, so I can use Case of the Burning Mask on the Sentry. I can extract Confession on the Rift Burst Hellion. I'm definitely using Extract on Rift Burst Hellion, so let's just go ahead with that. Uh, six. Two, four, six. Sure. Do I want to kill the Sentry? I mean, I have the Eliminator as well. I don't know that I'm going to get better targets for the most part here. I don't think Shock's going to be that good anymore. And I'd want to race my opponent here. Oh, I guess Shock would be pretty good. Shock wouldn't be bad here, wouldn't it? <laughs> it's fine. This card, Mountain. Three damage coming in. Then Hunted Bone Brute, face down. And let's keep up actually chases on here. There's a decent chance we can actually use this and then we can just crack the clue when we attack with the Reckless Detective. All right, Toxin Analysis, great, great draw. Let's just trigger this properly. Um, okay, and then let's flip this up. So they have to block the Reckless Detective. They go to two. Case does not flip. Let's play Person of Interest. I think if they had no witnesses, they would have played it already. And we still get a clue off of it, and we can play Undercity Eliminator. They are casting Analyze the Pollen here. Maybe they get a Glint Weaver. No, it's just Call a Surprise Witness. They said good game! Can we please get to rank two? We lost to the silver player, so we might still be three. Yes! Yes! Let's go. Rank number two. Silver medal, please. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Trophy with Rakdos Aggro. Really, really happy with how this played out. We had just a really great curve. Once again, that's the important thing. A lot of these trophies, you know what the first thing I say is? We had a good curve. If you have a bad curve, it's really, really hard to pull off. We had really solid removal, right? Shock, double extract with double deadly complication in case of the burning mask. So uh, six removal spells. The removal spells were really important. In some games, we really had to kill some bombs. We had a couple of tricks. And then just, you know, a bunch of great, I mean, double rune brand juggler, uh, massacre girl, hunted bone brute. We had the rares that got passed over to us and uh, we were just able to get it done. Able to get it done. And this draft, at least, is just a great example of continuing to allow yourself to be flexible 
And when it is pretty clear, even late in pack one, when a certain card that you feel like shouldn't still be in the pack is there, and there's nothing great for you, you take it just to see what happens. And that's what happened for us, right? We started out the draft with Inside Source out. We had Inside Source out cold and gleaming Gear Drake. So three of our first six picks didn't end up and didn't end up in our deck, right? It did not end up in our deck because um, they were the most powerful cards. But we just kept seeing black cards, and what ended up happening was we noticed that red felt relatively open. From what we saw, I think we got a relatively late shock. We saw a person of interest. And we we're like, okay, well, we're red. We might be Jeskai. We have a couple of blue cards. We have a white card. We have the dog walker. We'll see what happens. And then what happened? We got a late room brand juggler. And then the black card just kept flowing, right? We were tabling clandestine meddler, tabling the undercity eliminator. We were just getting everything on the wheel. There was maybe one other black tractor after table. And we ended up getting really, really rewarded with a trophy. Another trophy here. So we're on a really good run with these videos, right? Yesterday we went six and three. Day before we went, we won, we got a trophy. So now we're ranked two. Hopefully we can hang on to rank two this time and go after whoever is number one. Whew. Very close. Very, very close. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Feel free to hit the like or subscribe button for more daily videos just like this. If you enjoyed the content and wanted to support the channel in another way, I did launch my Patreon channel. Shout out to all the current patrons. Really appreciate your support. The link to the Patreon is in the description below. Rank one tomorrow? Maybe? We'll see.